Hey everybody, this is Ori from Circuit, and I'm going to show you how to speed up your website, your WordPress website, with the W3 Total Cache plugin. Okay, so this uh, domain is a new domain uh, just for this video tutorial, um, doesn't have anything on it. Uh, so we're going to start by first installing it. So let's go to plugins and add new. I'm going to use the search box for searching for W3 Total Cache. Okay, and now I'm going to check this. I'm going to look that this is the correct one with a very good reviews and very high downloads so I don't install something incorrect. And I'm going to click on install. Now install, what it does is it downloads the files and we're going to actually have to activate it. So as I've mentioned in other videos, uh, if this is a live site, always have a backup of the, of the database and the files before you do any kind of activation or installation okay and this is just a sample domain so let's click on activate okay perfect right there okay now uh, before we do any kind of um, a settings let's actually deactivate it for one second and I actually want to show you the uh, sample data that I have, the sample website, and the actual speed that it was loaded. Okay, so if I use Chrome and I use the Dev Tools, I can click on the Network tab, and I want to load our home page and see how how quickly it actually loads. Okay, so the entire page loaded in 1.56 seconds. The home page, the first HTML file, actually loaded in four and a half uh, or 0.45 seconds. Okay, and I can see how long it took to actually process the first HTML and then how long it took for the browser to actually download this. Stuff. Okay, great. So let's keep this in mind. Uh, these are the main numbers. Of course, there's all of these fonts and uh, text and images, etc. Um, but let's actually look at this. So for a 0.45 uh, seconds and then 1.56. Okay, so let's go here. And let's reactivate it. Okay, reactivate. Okay, and let's go to the settings right now. Okay, so we go down here. Let's click on settings. Okay, perfect. Now, um, before we get into the settings, there's a lot of different settings you can do, and some are very easy to just click and they'll work with your server, and some in involve additional software, services, paid services, etc., such as CDNs and Varnish and things like that. So, uh, in this video, it's going to be very simple just how to get things running. But other videos will have more things on real uh, advanced speed optimization, okay? So another thing is that um, depending on the type of server you have and the settings you have and the site you have, certain settings may work or not work and certain settings may actually break the website. So you need to know what you're doing or at least ask and research before you do that. And of course, if you're not sure, do not do anything on the live site, okay? Great. So now... Um, Let's go over some of the popular settings. So let's include page caching, okay? So let's add this caching. And um, basically the caching right now, let's keep everything at uh, the sim most simple um, settings right now because we don't know how the server will react, okay? So if you know what you're doing, you can kind of go in more advanced stuff. Basically, the server will keep, uh, instead of having every time a page loads, to actually uh, start gathering all of the data it needs in order to provide the HTML and all the resources, you can have some kind of basic caching on the server that will speed up things, okay? So we have this right here. Let's click on save because we enabled and let's actually uh, go to the website one by one. So what I like to do is because there's so many settings, every time you change one setting at a time and then test, okay? Let's actually go to the front end. Let's make sure that the site looks correct. Okay, so the site is fine. And let's go here and click on network and refresh right here. Okay, perfect. Okay, here, so now the site loaded a little bit slower, but of course there's always going to be variation. Okay, so let's go here and let's minify our CSS and JavaScript, make them a little bit smaller so the browser doesn't have to download as much. Okay, and let's click on save and make sure that the site loads correctly okay now if you, you really uh, want to do this step by step you can really evaluate every single specific uh, setting and then test the speed and everything okay so let's go down 
Okay, database cache. Let's actually do this. This is a very important part because there's a lot of calls to the database. Okay, and click on save. Okay, let's go here. Okay, perfect. So now I'm just going to kind of go a little bit faster uh, right here and go over some of them. Okay, so let's go to browser cache. We have the cache itself. This is really helpful and this is very important for. Uh, that your your user not having to download the same shared elements between pages so for example um, let me give you an example here so uh, if a user actually has uh, in this case this is a sample data but if you have the logo and the same header and the same images that always are shared between all pages for example then um, let's actually go to a different page okay let's go to yahoo.com for a second okay so for example if you always have this logo on all pages the user does not need to download them again and again on every page so what it does is if if you as the user download this logo and you go to another page that has the same logo you will just use that and display it from your own this cache okay so you don't need the server to work again and again and for the site to be slower so that's basically what the browser cache does okay CDN is very very important but this is a, a extra paid service and we'll get into it in another video okay and of course a reverse proxies and varnish and things like that okay so now that these settings are pretty much set up let's do um, one more save right now let's actually look at the site itself okay and refresh and let's look at the speed okay perfect so now the site basically loaded um, just a little bit faster than before and of course because most of the site right now is just uh, no traffic and uh, most of its text so that's why there's not a big big change right now but you'll see this changes especially now that for example when we disable cache when we actually have the browser uh, not a, excuse me when, when we enable cache as a regular user um, the actual website will load much much faster now that we use this setting uh, for browser cache right here which we didn't have before okay so if you notice now the site loaded uh, the entire site the HTML always needs to be provided in full, okay, unless you use varnish or something like that. Or, sorry, the, the, the PHP code will make the HTML pages. Uh, and then all the rest of the elements don't need to be re-downloaded. You see, for example, this one, zero, uh, and this image, etc. They don't need to be downloaded already because I've already visited that page one time before. So that's a major, major change and a major help for your users and for your server so the entire site including all elements all images everything loaded in less than one second which is huge and of course this is a sample data etc um, so that's it so the next part is really to get this to speed up and that you'll have to do much more advanced settings uh, improve the database and they have varnish and uh, improve many things so for example uh, installing PHP 7 is going to be a huge uh, push in the speed and there's many more things which we'll discuss in the future. Uh, that's it. Hope you had a, uh, a good video. You enjoyed it. And if you have any questions on more specifics of the settings, please ask me. I'll be happy to, to help. Thanks.